brothers and sisters of melanin is brother wisdom cracking the code to release our powers cracking the code to release our powers it is important that we crack the code you know we are organic machines so we being as organic machines we run on frequencies and vibrations there are certain codes that our body needs in order to um, open up the dynamics uh, of our uh, powers and and the, the energy and information that we have. If you can see very carefully, the music industry um, suppresses those codes. Music industry suppresses those codes. When you listen to the music, those codes that we're supposed to have um, in the frequencies as we live, as we um, as we are um, focused on in, in on that certain music, we don't get. Okay. The main course of cracking the codes is opening our minds. But first, we must um, tap into the ancestral knowledge. We tap into that knowledge through listening to different frequencies. Now, I talk about frequencies a lot, okay? You got your alpha frequencies, you got your, uh, your, beta, you got your beta frequencies, um, you also have, um, Quantum frequencies. You got your uh, uh, what else you have that's going to be powerful. You got the different the, the binary the binary frequencies. Then you got your your 1,000 hertz frequencies and I mean sorry your 10,000 hertz frequencies and your 12,000 hertz frequencies. You got, you got the angelic frequencies that you deal with. So um, these frequencies are designed to open up your codex your inner cosmic codex all right because we are children of the cosmos the same frequencies that that travel in the cosmos we are also supposed to listen to those uh as well the cosmos is constantly giving off high level frequencies or frequencies that are designed to build our bodies up to a, 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 a more powerful state. Our sun gives off, our sun runs on frequencies. You know, even though you can't hear the frequencies, but when you go into meditation and you go into sun gazing, you would notice that the, your inner frequencies begin to rise and begin to become more powerful. Our moon gives off frequencies, all right? And even when you moon gaze, you see, the moon, uh, the the energy from the moon, will cause your frequencies to rise. All right. Um, it is important that we listen to these frequencies in order to open our minds. And this is how we crack the codes when we open our minds. When we get, uh, when we stop becoming closed-minded to what the system has to offer us and open our minds to what the ancestors have already provided and the knowledge that the ancestral energy uh, provides to us, we will be able to uh, crack open those codes. Now, yes, those of you who are thinking that, okay, well, I thought you said uh, June 18th, you know, we're gonna start giving off photon radiation particles. Yeah, we're going to start giving out photon radiation particles. Yes, our bodies are going to start doing this because we're part of nature. But we still have to crack open those codes. All right? In order to get the have access of our full powers. Now, a lot of our people don't understand because they've been indoctrinated in this system that we that has been given to us today. We must re realize that Islam and Christianity are pretty much um, 
our ideals that were written by our enemies. They created these books and they wrote these books and you know, they have nothing to do with melanin. They have nothing to do with telling you to listen to frequencies, telling you to go into meditation. They have nothing to do with telling you to uh, tap into your inner self. You know, they have, you know, it's very, very little of those frequencies that uh, you could actually tap into to tell you to do those things. So the, the whole important part about it is we going within ourselves to pull in, to pull out what is inside of us, which is this ancestral knowledge and this ancestral energy and power. You crack the codes by listening to different frequencies and open up your opening up your mind to the the, the knowledge and the power and the and, the, and the, the whisperings of the ancestors. This is how you open up those frequencies. This is how you become more powerful. This is how you access your power. You know, meditation, your Tai Chi, listen to frequencies, doing your chants, you know, all the different chants, you know, your E, I, O, you know, I, I think I did a, a, a video, I did, I did do a video one time before, saying that, you know, at some point in time, we have to create our own frequencies. When we're going to meditation, that we have to do the E, And you can hold your hands in meditation and do those frequencies and basically you're feeding your own body uh, certain frequencies, all right? Oh, ah. So it's important that we tap into our uh, uh, minds and, um, and tap into our inner spirits and open up and, and, and crack open that 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 Pandora's box the different frequencies the different uh, chants um, going into the highest of high I was talking to some brothers I said you know we got to start building uh, wooden pyramids you know and they just looked at me strange because our people don't understand what's going on they have no knowledge of what's really going on Look at how how uh, this these orcs put uh, uh, chicken and beef and and pork in our in our in our neighborhoods. You know, everywhere you go, you see a Kentucky Fried Chicken or Churches or Popeyes. You see a McDonald's, a Burger King, a Checkers, a Rallies, or all these different places. You know, you see uh, uh, Arby's and and uh, Burger King, and you know, you see all these different. Uh, whew, excuse me. You see all these different restaurants. Well, these restaurants are there to assure that we are going to eat from them. And when we eat from them, the poisons inside of that food suppresses the frequencies that would be uh, given off, that would be feeding us certain levels of knowledge and energy and power okay so um the four horsemen that we deal with the four horsemen keeps us from cracking open those frequencies the four horsemen is work education religion and the law these are four areas that keeps us from building all right so when we get our minds on start when we get our minds into creating different things all right when you start to create different things and you use your mind and say oh look what i did oh look what i did um it's like you 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 put yourself in a totally different mindset you 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 you, cre you create you create a whole a totally different state of mind within yourself because you're like okay if i can do this then I can do this. And if I can do that, then I can do this. You see what I'm saying? So it's all about cracking open the codes that are that that uh, uh, are dormant. These dormant powers, these dormant, this dormant energy that's within us. It's all about cracking open the codes. Once we crack the codes, 
then we'll move forward into a totally different mindset, a totally different uh, uh, type of, of, of living. You know, and I, and I hope you guys can understand where I'm coming from because it is important that we crack these codes. It's important that we crack the codes. The main thing that we have to do is open our minds. Open our minds. Don't wait for someone to try to feed you. You know, you need to try to feed yourself. And so many of our people have been conditioned to uh, having people feed them. I need a leader. I need a teacher. I need a leader to the point where they can't feed themselves, where nobody can spoon feed you for the rest of your life. At some point in time, you're going to have to pick up that spoon for yourself and you're going to have to feed yourself because uh, then you will understand that, hey, me feed myself, I'm becoming more powerful now. Yet still, you still open yourself for, for a new way of life because even those who were the ancient ones, the ancient of the ancient of the ancient, sought out ancient knowledge. The ancient of the ancients uh, went and sought out that, the, the knowledge of the ancestors and they had knowledge and they had power, but they went and sought out knowledge of the ancestors. So in order to crack open the codes, you have to open up your mind. You have to open up your heart to what the ancestors have. But then the main thing is you have to give up a lot of things. You have to give up all this meat. You have to give up all this, this rap music. You know, you have to give up all this football and basketball and all this stuff here because uh, they are designed to keep you from moving forward in life. There are frequencies, dangerous frequencies in those football games, those basketball games keep you mesmerized and you're watching and it's so exciting and you're talking about this person and this person, this person, and Kobe and 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 LeBron and, and Michael Jordan. And now you're talking about all this stuff right here, but you're not building yourself up. You're actually tearing yourself down because there are there are certain codes in those names when you speak those names and and they come out of your mouth. There are certain codes that destroys the very system that you rely on to feed you, which is your inner the, the inner power that you have your inner energy so it is important that we crack open these codes and the, the main part of cracking open these codes is tapping into your inner self and becoming the power that your ancestors were and leaning and relying upon yourself all right that's how you do it all right my people um that's all i have for right now all power to the Motor Shaka people of Melanin. Peace to you all.